Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, sitting in this chair very uncomfortably. My back is killing me today. Uh, I feel a little worse than I felt yesterday. Yesterday, I, I didn't mind getting up and walking around. Uh, today, it was tough getting out of bed. It's tough sitting here. It's tough making my coffee. It's tough taking the dog out. So, I, but then again, I didn't have any of my medication in me. So, I'm hoping, like, I just took it now. So, I'm hoping in a few minutes I'll feel uh, slightly better. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be a rough day. We have an appointment at one more hour. In about an hour. Yeah, we have an appointment in an hour to see how the baby's doing. Uh, Non-stress test, ultrasound, the same old stuff we do twice a week. It's kind of nerve-wracking because like next week is the measurements again. So we get to see how big baby is. And if she's still measuring too big, we need to come up with a plan for, for delivery, whether it's gonna be uh, getting induced at 37 or scheduling a c-section at 39 we don't want to do the c-section uh but i don't think we want to go with inducing at 37 either but we're gonna have to pick the better of two evils if baby's still getting big and uh you know we obviously want to have a safe delivery and make sure that mommy's okay and that baby's okay so we're gonna we have to make the decision at some point next week after we have the uh the measurements done but today, we don't have to worry about any of that. We'll just get to see the baby and be thankful that we get to see the baby. And then we're gonna run some errands. Uh, hopefully they're not too painful. <laughs> I might have to take one of those motorized carts when we go to, where are we going, Stop and Shop? Yeah, the market. Yeah, I might I might need to, to get in one of those. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, this right now, just walking and standing hurts tremendously. I'm just hoping the muscle relaxers kick in quickly. But enough of that, let's get on with our day. Uh, I did not upload a dad talk video because I did not have one uh, completed. Uh, the injuries really just set me back this weekend quite a bit. I had huge plans to, to get a lot of things done Saturday night that just couldn't happen. Yeah, so I mean, I don't, I don't know. Or was it Friday night? I don't even remember my It happened now. Saturday. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the day brings. I don't. There's nothing really left to do here. Um, so the nursery pretty much is just... This, we just need room for stuff in other places. We like gotta empty a cabinet. I gotta wash yeah. bottles and pacifiers. That's pretty much it that's left. Yeah, there's really not a whole whole lot left to do, which is good. So it's things are winding down. Pretty soon we'll just have to be sitting here waiting patiently for baby. <laughs> just be rocking back and forth like a couple of weirdos. Come on, baby. Come on, your room's ready. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, I'll show you. She doesn't want to be shown right now. So we're on our way to the appointment. I don't know what to say, I just figured I should vlog because I haven't been in it. Why don't we vlog about how there's only one lane right now and cars behind me are creating two lanes. Yeah, that makes sense. Why don't we talk about that? You've got some road rage going on. Some stupid teenage piece of crap was on her phone. Yeah. Stopped right on the highway. Yep. Well, you gotta relax. I'm relaxed. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's, yep. That's, no, it's two lanes. Oh, well, alright. I wasn't sure at first. I'm like, this is coming this way. No, they can do that over here. It's not back there. Anyway, let's go see the baby. One hour later. And the appointment's done. <laughs> We're gonna vlog in there, but I mean, how many times do you want to see me getting a non-stress test? I wish you could vlog the ultrasound, but there's like HIPAA laws and ultrasound tech something like that, so yeah, we, we don't bother asking. I will. I wouldn't film her. I'd say film the screen, but whatever. Well, anyway, your info on the screen, so I guess you're not violating any HIPAA laws. True. But, um, baby did really well. She passed all her tests, like, right away. Like, as soon as we did the ultrasound, she cooperated and did her practice breathing and all her movements. It's a terrible name for and, a funeral home. Bright funeral home? Yeah, that is terrible. And, um, the non-stress test, she started doing all her movements right away as well. Um, yeah. So, that was a good appointment. Part rate was averaging about 140. Yeah, and then she moved around and averaged Get around up to, 160, yeah. 165. So... Everything's good. Yeah, she's doing all right. We got nice pictures of her face and yeah. that here. So now, so adorable. yeah, she is. You can actually see her. Sometimes I can't see the ultrasound photos that clear, but today we can see them. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna go to the market, pick up a few things, and then it's gonna take a while to get to the market because school's out. Oh no, yeah, all school buses traffic. Everywhere. It's terrible. Can we stop coming to the market when we're hungry? Yeah, I know you do. I was thinking about making those cookies we have. Yes. So, I don't know, we're just grabbing some essentials like salad and tomatoes and cucumbers, apples. I should have got the cart. The cart? Yeah. What cart? My motorized cart. Oh. So painful. <laughs> Your bagel's in here. I'm gonna get the bagel. I just wanna show them what we got. You don't have um, 
Come on. Wait, relax. We got a spaghetti squash because that's the size of the baby tomorrow. Some dressing, tea. Now we're gonna get bread and bagels, which they don't have your bagels. They got them right here. See, cinnamon yeah. raisin. When do they expire? I can't tell. February twentieth. Yes. What's today? The tenth. Yes, that's good. We got some bread, and then we're gonna get cat litter, cat food, and some cheese you're watching and milk. Fun. If you're watching this on the 11th, which is tomorrow when this video goes up, Yep. that's Fallon's birthday, so happy birthday, Fallon. Happy birthday, Fallon. All right, guys, so trying to organize this this shelf that I put here, that I bolted the desk to, has always been a pain in the butt. Ultimately, I want to get rid of it, and I want to have built-in shelves in that wall, but I'm not sure like how far I can come out yet, because one, we have an outdoor faucet that's right there, and um, we need access to that at all times, and... Second, we're gonna put a window here at some point in the summertime, uh, finances permitting. So I don't know, I don't know. Like, I want a shelf and stuff for like all my camera equipment. I need a shelf for like all the audio equipment. And then of course we need, we need room for all of our, our computer stuff too. And then down here is like the big items like tripod and lighting kits and all that. So it's just, it's just really hard to just organize it all. I'm not exactly sure what to do at this point aside from like really all i can do is just keep putting things on the shelves neatly yeah neatly but it, it just it's not it's not as easily as as accessible as i'd like it to be like if i want to use like let's say i want to grab the nikon bag i have to actually like move everything out of the way and grab the nikon bag because i it can't really hang it every time i hang the nikon bag it breaks the wall because it's too heavy even if i use like drywall anchors it just it just doesn't doesn't stay. I don't know if it's just cheap sheetrock that they used or what, but this wall can only handle like small amount of weight. I only have that issue with this wall. No other wall is that way. Uh, a lot of the walls are actually double layered sheetrock, which is kind of strange. The laundry area, um, some of the baby's room walls are double layered. I, I think they just did that thinking that if they did that, they didn't have to use insulation in between the walls, but that didn't really, that, that didn't work. But yeah, I don't know what to do. I just gotta you know try to keep it neat i guess i don't know so right now i'm going through all her bottles opening packages pacifiers but i have a question like if you guys know we got these for uh free at the um 3d ultrasound it says disposable nipple unit so is this like a a one-time use like i don't know do i have to clean it i'm so confused <laughs> well yeah but if it's only used once like what i don't know like it's in the package. I have no idea, but that's what I'm currently doing. I have this whole bag here of just all like feeding stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> and this one's been cleaning. He cleaned up the whole desk and then I just destroyed it, but it won't be staying there. So I made room for the bottle warmer. You made room for the bottle warmer? Yeah. Oh, on the counter. I thought you meant for right here. Uh. <laughs> so we just had some pizza. I know it's not Friday, but he took pork chops out and they didn't thaw, so whatever. And um, I'm still. I don't feel like cooking anything extra. I mean, anyway, I'm out of it. True. And then um, I'm still going through the bottles, almost done. I have like a box I have to open. And then I guess I'll be putting them in the dishwasher. I don't know. I gotta reread stuff because he thinks the sanitized setting will melt them. I don't know. Anyway, Kevin and Essie came by and they're very generous and gave us this play mat for baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's so sad they left. She was getting so much attention from them. Whoa, baby girl. Oh. I'll throw it. But yeah, thank you so much, Kevin. That was really sweet you of you guys. Tug? I can't tug too hard, honey. Go ahead. Get it. I kind of wish I waited like another day because I just finished editing the baby shower haul, which I think will be up as you're watching this. So go check that out if you haven't. I'll have it linked down below. Oh, boy. And um, you still haven't done a dad talk, so we won't we won't mention any of that. <laughs> no, I think I'll do one. I might if I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know before we end the vlog if there's a dad Not talk. <laughs> anyway. Just tried to kill the baby maker. I know. We have so many bottles and nipples and everything, and she's over here just <laughs> taking them all out of the boxes, <laughs> forgetting all the, the the cleaning instructions. Some get boiled, some don't get boiled, and it's she thinks confusing. this is a good idea right now. I want everything done. You're not going to remember any of this. I'm trying my best here. But these are all like first time use. You need to boil it, says. Not yeah. dishwasher. So, 
I'm gonna get the little drying rack we have, clean that. I will be thoroughly impressed if you don't ruin anything today. You're so mean to me. I'm not mean. You're over there reading instructions for things you're not even looking at. I just am very overwhelmed. I want everything done. Me too. She might be coming in two weeks. We don't know. We need to have everything ready. I don't even know if she'll be using bottles, but you know, I'm not gonna want to be doing this when I'm on like no sleep. So. Um, we'll see how this goes okay so far all the bottles that i've uh put in the boiling water are good nothing has happened the past fires are good everything's nice and clean nothing melted and then we have the rest of them in the sanitized option in the dishwasher so i think i think everything will be okay what do you think you think i'm doing it good yeah yeah what are you doing let try mining I just told him I was going to upload the baby haul, and here he goes. I can't wait till he's off this medicine. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, I pulled everything out from the dishwasher. The only downside for using the sanitized setting is that everything is still wet for some reason. So I had to add everything to this. Now I'm just like really overwhelmed because um, I don't know what goes to what anymore. So <laughs> this is going to be fun putting back together. <sighs> I'll figure it out, I hope. Allie, all your walking back and forth is making pregnant mommy really angry. She already took you outside, so you don't need to go there. You just had your treats. Now mommy's got her hand on her hip like she's about to snap her mind. You can't mess with a pregnant woman, Allie. Guys, I think we're going to end today's vlog because uh, I'm, I'm all muscle relaxers and nurse has got her pregnancy anger going on. So, see, right You're there. Angry there too. it is. It's right and there. You're snapping at me. No one's snapping at you. Okay. I'm gonna put a secret camera one of these days. You don't have. We have them everywhere. You go to record. Go ahead. Promptly. Prompt. Guys, I uploaded the baby shower haul. It's already up, so that's obviously if I upload it. But yeah, if you haven't checked it out, just link down below. I put a lot of work into it, so hope you guys like it. Yeah, it's actually really good. I watched it earlier with her, and um, I liked it, so. You guys are into seeing the stuff we got for the baby shower not all sped up and you know at a normal viewing speed you'll and find it there i'm gonna try to figure out the bottles tomorrow half of this stuff like is dry not all of it but figure it out tomorrow hopefully it's not all messed up hopefully. yeah so we'll I mean, see you guys tomorrow it is messed up hopefully i can fix it if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow right ali thank you for your fox Stop it. Thank you. That's that's the most I can do for you right now. My leg doesn't move any faster.